Elevate is the newest plugin from Newfangled Audio, and it's a mastering limiter and audio maximizer. Now, instead of traditional multiband limiting that we know, like four band or six or maybe even eight band, it uses the Mel scale that we saw in their earlier Equivocate plugin, a paragraphic EQ, that divides the audio spectrum up into as many as 26 individual bands, and that by default match the frequency curve of the human ear. Now, this then uses an adaptive algorithm to recombine these frequencies to give us maximum flexibility so we can avoid artifacts like compression and distortion and pumping and shifts in the stereo image and that kind of thing. Now, the pages over here, the subpages, allow us to tweak the parameters, but the main parameter page gives us sort of macro control over everything. Now, at the top, we have a preset bar, and there's a really nice gain lock function so that when we're switching through the different presets, we can lock the gain so that there's no jarring jumps in value. The metering is simple input output metering or gain reduction or the filter bank metering, which corresponds to this. And this looks familiar for people who've used Equivocate. And we have over here the main parameters page, which is what we're going to focus on. And in the preset bar over here, we have an active button, which bypasses or enables the plugin. And there's a match level function, which is useful so that it boosts the dry signal when the plugin is inactive so that we can compare the limited signal with the non-limited signal with the same amount of gain. Now we have input metering here and we can boost or attenuate the input over here. And output metering, we can set it to auto mode or manual. I'm gonna leave it in manual for now. When it's in auto button mode, we have a constant gain to compensate for the amount of gain and drive that we're adding to the signal. So you can really hear what this is doing without being distracted by the volume. But in this case, I want to hear the volume changes so you can hear how clean and wonderful this thing sounds. So just make sure to disable this when you're processing your audio. And when I say disable it, I mean make sure to put it into manual mode. Now the main parameter page, we start with the limiter section. Now gain and speed are kind of like threshold and release settings. So this is basically a threshold for how much gain we want to add. And this is an algorithm for attack and release that's combined. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. The adaptive gain and adaptive speed are algorithms that adjust the limiting to work on the individual bands. When they're off, this will function like a regular single band limiter. We just push that up or down and it works as we know. But when we're in adaptive gain mode, it's based on the number of bands we have set here. And by default, they're 26. And you can see the bands individually in the filter bank. And as we've seen in Equivocate, we can drag the center frequencies around like that. And we can solo them and add more if we want to remove them like that and get however many bands we want. And we have the Mel scale, which is the traditional scale based on the human hearing curve or this custom scale that we can alter. So let me set it back to the default Mel scale for the moment. And back to here, we have this adaptive gain value over here. And this adapts the gain applied to each frequency band individually. And this setting is the number of dB by which each band can stray from the others. So it can be toggled on or off with this button. And this will limit how much discrepancy we're going to get between these individual bands when they're being analyzed and the algorithm is being applied. So back to here, we turn that on or off. Now, same thing with the speed algorithm. So this is kind of like attack and release combined. Moving the parameter up speeds up the dynamics of the limiter and it allows higher output levels, but it also can introduce some artifacts. And with the adaptive speed parameter here, it adapts the attack, release, and look ahead parameters for each of those filter bands individually. So it greatly reduces the artifacts that are going to be introduced. So it's more accurate with it on. And we can even adjust the percentage that we want of it. And ceiling, of course, we know the maximum output. So just with these basic controls, let's put this to work. And I'm going to turn off the match level so that we can hear the difference in volume when we bypass it. Take my hand and carry me. All right, so already that's a fantastic, great, clean sounding multiband limiter. And if that's all this did, it would be fantastic, but there's a lot more. If we want more manual control over how this adaptive gain is affecting the individual bands, we can go to this limiter EQ subpage and there we can adjust individually and we can even draw when we're in draw curve mode. Take my hand and carry me. So 
So here it's like a traditional 26, or not traditional, but a 26 band limiter. So let me just go reset gain, we're back to default. Now back here, we have a transient emphasis section and Elevate can re-emphasize transients that are squashed and limited when we drive them into the clipping. So the adaptive transient mode over here, which can be on or off, we're gonna leave it on for the moment. It allows the transient emphasis engine to be adapted to each of those filter bands individually. And of course we can control it manually as well on this transient page by choosing which bands we want to have the transients emphasized on. So you can add that punch and snap and crackle back to your snares and kick drums. Now I'm exaggerating it a bit here, obviously, but we have these sliders here that correspond to these values here. Now we have a spectral clipper section, and this allows us to clip the transients or even drive the entire signal into it. So we have two parameters here. We have drive, and the drive parameter allows us to increase the limiter output into this spectral clipping section, and it'll increase the loudness and distortion, which is great for creative effect. And it does it according to the gain curve that we use with the shape parameter over here. Now we can see these more clearly on the clipper page. These are just mirroring the parameters here, but we get more of a good graphic display of it here. Take my hand and carry me. Take my Which can be interesting for creative effect. So the amount of drive and then how we want to clip the signals at the end. I find the smoothest, when we leave it on soft, we're getting the least amount of hard clipping. You can see that represent with the curve. So that's an overview of Elevate. This is not your grandfather's multiband limiter. This does a lot more, and it's, I think, going to raise the bar a lot higher for what we are going to come to expect from mastering limiters now. So congratulations to Newfangled Audio. Both this and Equivocate are fantastic new additions to our palette of audio tools. I'd suggest you check it out newfangled audio, elevate and equivocate.